exciting. There you go. That is a Ludwig Classic Maple, sil Classic Maple Silver Sparkle. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. This will be on stage with me. So for this tour, I'm shooting a ton of video with my iPhone. Uh, tried to grab a couple lenses. iPhones shoot great video these days, so it's going to look a little bit different than shooting videos at Sweetwater, of course, but I don't have the ability to take cameras with me, so the iPhone's going to have to do, but we're going to get a ton of content, really show off the gear as much as possible, some concert footage, all kinds of stuff, and I'm excited. Ludwig drums, a really sweet looking Gibraltar stealth rack that I haven't even seen yet. I mean, I saw Brent from Gibraltar customized a Gibraltar stealth rack for this kit that I'm going to get. So I'm going to have to put it all together at Real World when I get there for the first time. Shouldn't be too hard because uh, I watched him do it on video. So hopefully it'll be cool. And um, with the Ludwig Classic Maple and these Zildjian cymbals and uh, the Thomas Speed Cobra and I just can't wait to go and uh, rock the house with my band and this new gear. It's going to be a lot of fun. This pedal is so awesome. So I'm taking the Speed Cobra, got the newer version with these new beaters and stuff. And this is just one of the most awesome kick drum pedals ever. So I'm going to just pack this guy up and bring this over to Europe with me. Hi, Mabel. Uh, I finally got a record player. I haven't had a record player for years and years. I pulled out all these old discs and uh, so now I can finally listen to the old Spock's Beard catalog on vinyl, which is pretty sweet. And then the Big Big Train record, Grand Tour. This is what we're touring on. Vinyl is so cool seeing the artwork this size. Reminds me of being a kid. You can actually read the text, you know, rather than in a tiny little booklet. All right, what's totally cool and pretty exciting is that uh, Zildjian has supplied me with some amazing K symbols. One A, it's an A over there, but a lot of K suites and the uh, custom organic ride and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm gonna actually take these with me to Europe. Flying with cymbals is uh, a little bit scary, I guess, but um, I got a new hard case. And uh, so I'm gonna, I, think, I think it'll be cool. And then I can have the exact sound that I've been practicing with. I even got a couple bricks of Zildjian 5A sticks. Never used Zildjian sticks in my ent entire life until recently. Um, they're making great sticks these days, and these feel really good, and they're silver. Uh, they're going to match the drum kit that I'm going to get from Ludwig that I'm super excited. I haven't even seen the kit yet. I won't see the kit till I get to England. I think they're shipping it to Rob Aubrey's place, my old buddy's studio in Southampton, England. So once I fly over there, I'll get to Rob's, and then uh, I'll be able to see the drums I'm going to play for the tour. And I'm going to hit them with these. Yeah. All right, it's time to go. Got all my clothes packed, my gear packed, ready for the long flight to London's Heathrow Airport. And uh, I can't wait to get on the road with my band. It's gonna be our first big tour. It's gonna be very exciting. All right, let's go.
How's it going, everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here in Halifax, Yorkshire, UK at the Victoria Theatre. Big Big Trains UK tour. This is going to be the third show of the tour, and uh, it's just going great. I want to talk to you about this fantastic gear I have behind me. So many great companies have helped us out, sponsored the tour, and uh, I'm just over the moon about the kit I'm playing. So first off is this killer Ludwig Classic Maple Silver Sparkle. My wife actually painted her fingernails to match this drum kit, so it's the color is good all around. I picked Silver Sparkle because it just looks killer on stage. The lights, just, the light is booming off of the sparkles. The whole band loves it. It's just glitters everywhere around. The drum kit sizes go like this. 18 by 22 inch kick drum, eight by 10 rack, nine by 13 rack, 16 by 16 and 16 by 18 inch floor toms. I have the main snare drum is an LM402 hammered version, but I have an LM402, just the regular version for a backup snare. And I also have a matching 12 by five maple drum with the same silver sparkle finish. Paul Francis and the whole gang at Zildjian picked out some great symbols for me to use. And I'll start from the right, my right to the left. Far right is a 19 inch K Sweet Crash. And next to that, the China is an 18 inch Oriental China Trash. Next to that is an 18 inch Cluster Crash K. The ride symbol is a 21 inch K Custom Organic Ride. Beautiful sounding dry symbol, but it cuts through in the theater in a beautiful way, I think. I do have a few A's in the symbol setup. The first splash is an A, a 10 inch A trash splash. But then we go back to the K's, 17 inch sweet crash. Next to that is an A, eight inch splash. Next to that is an A, six inch splash. The China on my left is an 18 inch custom dark China K version. And then I have an A custom 18 inch thin crash on the end. Beautiful sounding crashes to round out the whole cymbal setup. For drum heads, all Remo. That's why I'm, I'm calling this like the trifecta, Ludwig, Zildjian, and Remo, the three classic American brands. Remo heads all the way around. The toms are coated emperors. I have a clear power stroke three on the kick drum and coated ambassadors for the two snares. Now all the bottom heads, the resonant heads are the branded Ludwigs on the toms and obviously this killer, really beautiful big, big train head designed by Sarah Ewing on the front. Now I've changed my sticks up a little bit on this tour because they just felt really good. And as I'm getting older, I'm going smaller with my sticks. I'm using Zildjian 5As. They're the silver painted sticks. They just feel really good. And uh, the folks at Zildjian said, yeah, go for that. And Zildjian owns Vic Firth drumsticks now. So they're made in the same factory. They're all built the same way and they feel really good. Now to go with this drum kit, I have this amazing Gibraltar Stealth Rack. Doesn't it look great? It looks killer. It's low profile. All the tripods are gone. You just have these killer looking chrome tubes around and it just looks beautiful along with this silver sparkle kit, especially under the lights, it looks great. Kick drum pedal I'm using is a Tama Speed Cobra. It feels great, super smooth. And I'm using a Gibraltar legless hi-hat for the hi-hat stand and it's connected to the Gibraltar Stealth Rack. I also have a mounted tambourine on the rack over there on my right side for a little bit of sound effect throughout the show. Now for the microphones, DPA has uh, really stepped up strong for this tour and I can't thank them enough. A lot of DPA 4099s all around the rack toms and 2011s. 2011s on the snare drum and the kick drum and on my overheads. On the seat, I have a Porter and Davies BC2, the best at drum thrones on the planet. I have a little bit of kick drum, a little bit of bass and Taurus pedals in my seat and I'm a happy man when I feel that low end through my body. Last but not least, I'm running a few tracks for the band. We have three songs that we have to play to click, with some percussion in the background. So I'm using Ableton Live to run those tracks with a RME Babyface Pro as the interface going to front of house. Play those tracks, I have a little Keith McMillan QU Nexus little MIDI keyboard, and that's doing the play, stop, and going to the next track for me when I need to go to the next song. It sounds great, it feels so good to play, and it just fills the whole theater with beautiful sound. Hey there, everybody. I'm back here at Sweetwater, and Big Big Train's first proper tour of the UK was a resounding success. It was so cool to share our music with the people all across the UK, ending up with a sold out show at the Hackney Empire in London. It was awesome. I want to personally thank all of the gear manufacturers that helped me out getting just the exact perfect gear for this tour. First shout out goes to Mike Nealon and his whole team at Ludwig. Ludwig is making fantastic drums and Mike picked out the perfect kit for me. I also want to give a quick shout out to Paul Hagen and his whole team over there in London. Paul had to get my drums out of customs jail, which was a little bit scary right at the beginning of the tour, but he did so and it ended up great. He also got me a drum rug right at the last second, so thank you, Paul, very much. Next shout out goes to Sarah Hagen and Paul Francis and everybody at Zildjian. 
Uh, Paul Francis personally picked out cymbals for me for this tour, and he got the exact perfect sounds to couple with the Ludwig kit. It was fantastic. Thank you, guys. Next, I want to thank Brian Levan and everybody at Remo. You know, Remo drumheads work all the time, and they made these Ludwig drums sound beautiful. Next, I want to thank Brent Barnett and everybody at Gibraltar. Brent was so much fun to work with in building the rack for this kit. You know, I've always used regular tripod stands. I haven't been a rack user that much in my life. And with the new stealth rack from Gibraltar, it was so cool. It made the drums just pop on stage. Everything worked. It was always at the right place, always right where I could hit it. Set up perfectly every night. It was super easy to use. Thank you, Brent. Also, I want to mention, Brent made a video of how he came up with the design of the rack for my kit. I'm going to leave the link in the text below this video. Make sure you click on that link and you can go through the whole design process that Brent goes through with all of the exact gear specifications and everything you want to know about building a stealth rack for yourself. Last, but by no means least, is Gabriel Antonini and everybody at DPA Microphones. Those microphones are so great, so easy to use. They're so clear. They make the drum sound so good, whether in the studio or on a big stage like with Big Big Train. Thank you, Gabriel, and everybody there. You gave me just the right stuff. I want you to know that every piece of gear that I chose for these Big Big Train shows is gear that you could purchase right here at Sweetwater. None of it is exclusive to me, and I chose gear that we can all enjoy, even down to the Gibraltar Rack. You know, Brent can do the exact same thing for you too. So just call your Sweetwater sales engineer for more information. In closing, if you want to hear or get any information about my band, Big Big Train, just go to our website, bigbigtrain.com, or any of our social channels. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe right here to Sweetwater, where you get the best music gear information and education on the web. Mm -hmm.